Hi, I'm Liddell with Computer Side Electronics, and we're in the lab with Hoverboard Repair today. And today I'm going to basically go over how to test and make sure that your posture sensor or balancing sensor or gyro or gyroscope, whatever you may call it, is working properly. A lot of people call it a lot of different things. In the lab here, we call them posture sensors. So, let's get into testing a posture sensor to make sure that it works. Okay, in order for a posture sensor to work correctly, posture sensors has, well, each posture sensor has two sides that should respond to pressure on the pressure plate here. Okay, let's turn this thing on. All right, first of all, you have the back side of, of the pressure pad, which is here. When you press it down, you should get a response. Then you have the front side here. When you press it down, you should also get a response. That one jumped kind of bad. But anyway, same thing on this side. Response and response. So you should have a response from this side, this side, this side and this side and if you don't have a response in either one of these corners then there's something you may want to check out on your posture sensor to make sure that it's positioned and aligned right okay if you can see that right in here this is the back side of the posture sensor here and this little u-shaped item here is where the sensors is located on both sides of the single posture sensor and basically let's see if we can get a better view when you press this in this little boot moves in and out and goes in between the u-shape part of the posture sensor so this is what makes it the posture sensor respond this boot here is attached to the pedal the pad here and when you step on it press it in it goes in between this little u-shaped item and sends a signal down to the motherboard which is located on this side all right, now both sides of the posture sensor has the U-shape item in it. There's the, there it is here again on this side. And this side pretty much operates the same way, as you can see. Get a good look at that. That's what's underneath the posture sensor here. If you have a hoverboard where only one side of it is operational and the other side doesn't respond at all, then chances are you have a bad posture sensor, which is here. You can also have a bad logic or motherboard, which is here. But chances are, most commonly, the problem is always going to be the posture sensor, which is here. So. If you have one side that's not working, you would need to take the cover off of the side that is not responding. Most of the time, the side that's not responding will also have the uh, LED light stand on solid and constantly. That would be this particular light here. This light would stay on solid and stay lit up if the posture sensor is bad. You will see one side lit up, the other side would be no light at all, no lit up at not lit up at all. If you have both of these lights lit up on both sides, then chances are you have posture sensors that has gone out or gone bad on both sides of your hoverboard and you will need to replace both sensors. So let's um get this posture sensor out into a position where I can show you how to test it. 
Okay, first and foremost, you would want to remove the four screws that holds the posture sensor in into the posture sensor holder. You have one, two, three, and four. I have already removed the screws out of this posture sensor here, so it's able to slide and is ready to be taken out. All right. Now I'm going to test the posture sensor without pulling this one out. This one is good, so I'm going to get a bad posture sensor and we're going to test it. Okay, here's the bad posture sensor and basically what you want to do, you would want to plug this harness in, which is the female side, to this harness coming from the motherboard which is the male side. Okay, let's connect the bad posture sensor up. Okay, we have that connected. And then basically what you would want to do is get like a small screwdriver. Something that's small enough that would go in between the little grooves here. These are the U-shaped items I was telling you about. Here and here that controls the posture sensor that sends the signal to the motherboard. This particular posture sensor is bad, so it might be a little difficult to show here, but this is a bad A bad posture sensor, when you stick something in between here, in between here, you should hear a beep, you should hear a sound. But, you don't hear a sound. That means that this posture sensor is bad. You only have to connect this harness from the motherboard in order to test a posture sensor to make sure that it's going to respond. There's no response here. Okay, here we have a new posture sensor. This one's working correctly and will respond. We want to take the harness, which is the female side from the posture sensor, and you would want to plug it into the male side of the harness coming from the motherboard. Okay. Now, this being a new and working posture sensor, you will get a response out of this one from the test we did previously on the old one that wasn't working. So here we go. See how it responds? It responds on that side. And it responds on this side. This means that this posture sensor is working correctly and it responds. When the little rubber boot goes in between here, that what sends the signal to the motherboard to let it know to let the motherboard know how to respond to the hoverboard to make the hoverboard move, in other words. So, there you have it with that. Let's unplug this posture sensor and let's plug in the one that doesn't work once again. See? No response. This is a bad posture sensor. And that's how you test your posture sensor to see if it's bad or if it's good. Alright, another way to tell if your logic board, motherboard, or main board has gone bad, you will have signs of blown capacitors. And let me dig in here and see. These are all the bad parts. If I can show you what a bone capacitor looks like on the hoverboard parts. Okay. This is partially sort of how 
they blowing capacitor lugs right here. See how this cap here is bubbled out? And this is on the logic board. This particular cap right here is bulging. That's one sign. So you can always check your caps on your other board and your parts. Let's see if I can find another better example. There's another better example here. See that same cap right there? On this motherboard, it's protruding. This cap is gone. This is what happens when you get a surge or some type of shortage. Now, the same thing is going to be with your posture sensor. Like this particular posture sensor here. See the cap right here? It's blown. So, that came from a surge or some type of shortage or something. Caused this particular posture sensor to go out, go bad. Posture sensor also come in two different ways. It doesn't matter the color of the board. What matters is this. This particular posture sensor here, as you can see, this little extra chip or extra um, board within the posture sensor board. This is for hoverboards that has remotes. This part is the antenna, and this part responds to the remote for hoverboards that has remotes. These two here, different colors, but if you can see, they are pretty much the same setup. There's no difference in them. The color of a board doesn't mean anything. They all have the same components set up pretty much the same way. The only difference between these two motherboards here is that you have a socket here for this particular wire. And this particular wire is soldered into the board. But they both operate the same way. You just have to get the wire harness that goes into the socket here for this one or this one right here. You don't have to worry about a separate socket. Just plug it directly into the motherboard harness. Well now, that concludes my video on hoverboard posture sensors, balancing sensors, whatever you or anyone else may call them. Now you are fully aware of how they operate, how they go bad, and the difference between them. Thank you for watching my video.